Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fox Tech video and in this one I'm gonna be showing you how you can listen to voice messages on your Apple Watch and this feature is quite easy to set up or to use but there are a few important details you should know to get the most out of it. At first, let's talk about the Apple Watch speaker. The watch itself is equipped with a fairly loud speaker that works well for voice messages, however, it does have its limitations in general. For instance, you can't use the Apple Watch speaker to play music or usual videos out loud, even though the speaker is decent enough for a watch. But the software restricts playing music media such, um, of course, during or through the speaker, but when it comes to voice messages, the speaker is more than capable. To listen to a voice message, start by opening the Messages app on your Apple Watch, and once you're in the app, scroll through the chats and find the chat containing the voice message you want to listen to. This can be a message you've received on uh, or the one that you've sent, right? When you locate the voice message, you'll see a play button. So tap on this play button to start listening to the message directly from your watch. One of the great features of this is that you don't need to connect it to your AirPods or any other Bluetooth device to listen to these voice messages. Simply use the built-in speaker and you can hold the watch close to your ear or you can also turn up the digital crown to raise the volume if needed, but this makes it very convenient to listen to voice messages on the go. It is important to know that, that this functionality primarily applies to the built-in messages app. If you're using some kind of third-party apps for texting, the experience, of course, might differ. I mean, for example, WhatsApp doesn't even have a dedicated messaging feature on the Apple Watch, so therefore, I mean, usually it's best to stick with the built-in messages app for listening to voice messages and texting in general. So that's about it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I will catch you in the future.